What's up watchers, Will here with another Godzilla Kong video for you, and after discussing a really outlandish parody film last time, I figured we'll get a little more serious again and talk about Godzilla Reborn, another abandoned American Godzilla attempt. Not the first won't be the last. So after the success of the 1999 film, Godzilla 2000, that has to be extremely confusing, the idea of a sequel was tossed around Hollywood for some time. It was to be handled with some of Toho's special effects team and to utilize the man in suit styling which for Hollywood films is much lower on their budgetary scale. So if you didn't know, there is an international original cut of Godzilla 2000 and an edited American cut that TriStar released since they had the distribution rights for Godzilla films at the time. One of the writers on the American film, Michael Schlesinger, was joking with his film producer friend John Davison with credits on Airplane, Robocop, and Starship Troopers, about the idea since Toho actually approved of all the changes they made to the film. Offhandedly, he jokes saying that if Sony was smart, they'd hire Schlesinger, Davison, and their other friend, Gremlins director Joe Dante, to do the project. Thinking on it later, he realized that it isn't really a bad idea and he called up his friends to hop on the project and they all agreed. Schlesinger came up with a budget, but the Columbia higher-up said he couldn't make any demands unless he had a script first which makes sense. Schlesinger said he wanted to flip the Godzilla film archetypes inside out and have the characters be lighthearted while the monster action was to be more serious. He stated that the problem with most Godzilla films is that the human characters take themselves so seriously and that's a large part of why the monster scenes seem funny by comparison. The characters consisted of the main character, a female news reporter who was on vacation and wanted to do less fluff and more serious journalism. The main male was to be a skirt chasing jackass, his quote, who owned the hotels she was vacationing at and oddly enough the two actually would have shared some interests. Shiro Miyazaki from the 2000 film was set to return at a science convention being held in Hawaii where the film was set. A Bronx Jewish general who quote peppered his dialogue with Yiddish and a police chief who drinks on duty because there's never any crime. The actors proposed for this film were all over the place ranging from Bruce Campbell to Christopher Lee to Jamie Lee Curtis just to name a few. And the thing is, Toho not only read the script, they actually liked the script, only asking for one change. In the film, Godzilla was set to be killed off halfway through by the army. Then he would have returned as a clone to fight the main villain, Miba, a large bat-like monster made of molten lava. So he changed it from a death to a coma and it worked out on their end. Sid Gainis, famous for being a producer on Big Daddy, Deuce Bigelow, and Aquila and the Bee, joined as another producer on the project once the script had been completed and they wanted the new Columbia head of production to sign off on it. Unfortunately, the head wasn't interested in producing a $20 million film, and when Schlesinger tried to pitch it to other studios, Toho asked for too much money and that's essentially where the project died. Now, was there a script? Yes, but I can't find it, so I did find a summary, and let's just go through that. Godzilla rampages his way through the Hawaiian Islands during a scientific conference in Honolulu, gradually making his way to Mauna Loa. However, the military manages to knock Godzilla out during this rampage, only to discover Godzilla's target, a lava bat kaiju dubbed Miba, resting in the volcano. Godzilla is then revived to take on the threat. So yeah, pretty cut and dry. Let me know down in the comments below if you would have wanted to see this film get made, because it certainly has an intriguing premise. Amazing that a joke almost became a future length film. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to Hyper Network. I'm Will, and I'll see you next time.